Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 survival horror game series and in today's video we are going to be going over all the steps that we need to take to package our game and get it out to our player. So hopefully over the past series, over the past 50 videos or so, you know you've sort of gained all of the knowledge that you guys need to sort of build this survival horror game. Now you don't necessarily have to copy it step by step exactly how I have done, you know go ahead and branch out, create your own thing, be creative but you know sort of over this series you've learned the skills that you need to create you know your own game but anyway without further ado let's sort of go over what we're going to be going so in today's video we're going to be going over all the steps that we need to make before we package our game so that's going to be things like getting rid of all the extra bits in your code building the lighting navigation and you know some final packaging checks as well so first things first before I do go any further then with packaging our game I need to make sure that we go ahead and build the lighting build the geometry build the paths and build the LEDs just basically build everything make sure you build everything because when you open the game or when the player opens the game you know they don't want to have that little error message in the top left hand corner that says lighting needs to be rebuilt it just doesn't look very professional now I've already built the lighting in my level so I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna do it but in terms of how you do it you just go ahead and press this little build button here and that will build everything that you need to do and you need to make you make sure you do that on every single level on your game once you've done that, sort of the next step that you need to take is to sort of go through all of your code and make sure there's none of those little print string messages as well. So I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by that in a second as soon as this closes. So if I go ahead and press play, press true, I don't know, um, you see it says true in the top left hand corner there. You know, we don't want any of those little pop up messages. So we pretty much need to go through all of our all of our code and get rid of those. Now, it can take a little bit of time and we've sort of created plenty of them over the series. So just go through them. Most of them are all going to be in the third person character. And you just got to go ahead and find them. Now, I've already deleted uh, most of these print strings in a previous take of this video that I tried to record and I accidentally saved it like... You know, but anyway, so just go through here, just find all the print strings, just sort of zoom in, zoom out, find what you can. I know there is definitely a print string inside of here, so I'm going to go and find that. So I'm going to open this up, uh, whatever this is. So I'm going to find this in the content browser. And you can see at the end of this, I've got print strings. So we just need to pretty much get rid of all of those. If there's anything on the other side of the print string, just link it all up so it doesn't sort of break or, you know, make or, you know, break any functionality for your game. And just go ahead and press compile. And, you know, probably the most important thing um, is really just testing your game. Press play, make sure everything works. You can't walk through trees, you can't fall through the floor um, or anything like that, really. So, I mean, I know there is one major issue sort of in the game that I've got here at the moment. You can walk through the rocks, uh, through the rocks. So, you might need to add, do like a quick collision pass on, pass on that. And that's going to be doing things like getting a volume and then sort of getting a collision volume, which is a blocking volume in here. And you just sort of chuck it over the rock, stretch it over and, you know, just fix everything so the player can't walk through with stuff that they shouldn't be able to basically. So if I go ahead and press play now with that blocking volume there you can see I can't walk into the rock and that is working great. So just go over the whole level make sure you do that on absolutely everything. So we've built our lighting we've sort of done a quick collision pass and you know we've also got rid of all of those print strings on our game now bear in mind i'm just sort of going over these really briefly i'm not doing it step by step um it's going to take a little while to do all of this um but anyway the only other thing that sort of really is just test it get your friends to play the game launch it in the editor get them to play it get them to try it on different platforms whether that's android um or whatever you're targeting just get them to play it but anyway the last the last sort of check that you need to do is sort of go into your packaging settings. To get there, just go to file, packaging settings, and just it'll open up a little window in a second. Sometimes it is a little bit slow and you should get this on here. So straight off the top, you can see we've got our project settings over here. And the build configuration should be set to shipping, if it's your final release, where you want it to sort of be going to check full rebuild if that's something you want to do so if you want it to automatically build your lighting your navigation that kind of thing um 
Don't worry about the rest of all of these for now. Supported platforms, you've got to make sure you've got all of the platforms that you want it to work on selected in here. If we go over to target hardware, we need to make sure we change this to, you know, whatever we're working for. If we're working with a mobile game, we change it to mobile. If you're working on a desktop, make sure you just keep it on desktop. And maximum quality, or if you're working on a mobile, maybe just change it to scalable 3D or 2D. But I'm just going to leave it on maximum quality for now, as we actually have a bunch of graphic settings inside of our main menu. So... The other thing that I wanted to go over, the main bit, is sort of your maps and modes. We need to make sure our default game map is the main menu, so as soon as the player sort of packages up the game, and yeah, so as soon as the player packages up the game, and they then they install it and they open it, it's going to take them straight to the main menu, and it's not going to sort of put them in the, uh, you know, in the first level or anything. You've got to have a, you know, a logical flow to it. So they start at the main menu, and then you use your sort of your script and your buttons to go and move them to the next level. And then edit the startup map, don't worry about that for now. And as for default game modes, just go ahead and check out my last video. That will explain everything that you need to know for there. But other than that, that is pretty much everything. Um, sometimes you can get a few errors when you actually do proceed to package your game. Um, there's not much that I can really say about those. It's going to be very specific to your project. There could be an issue somewhere or another. Um, if you do have any issues, just go ahead and sort of comment down in the description below i'll have a brief look at them if i can and if not you know we've got a whole community behind us so we can sort of look at it so we've got everything we need to package it now all we've got to do is package it so just go to file package project and then just go ahead and choose the pa uh, platform you want to package it to now for me i'm just going to be working with windows if you're going to be working with something like android just go ahead and package it to android you may have to install the android sdk before you can do that and there's also going to be a few requirements for like linux ios html5 just go ahead and check out the unreal engine 4 documentation for that or alternatively make sure you check out my you know sort of my dedicated packaging video as part of my unreal engine 4 beginner tutorial series but anyway package your product uh, project choose windows 64 bit it's going to save everything you need to and then you just sort of browse for the folder that you want to save it to and that is it once this is all done it's all going to go into that folder on my desktop that i've just chosen and from there you're going to have your installer now it will take a little bit a little while for it to package up it is going to work for me it's not working because i know i have got some errors i know exactly what that is but you guys won't really have any issues at all and it will work straight away so anyway that is pretty much everything that i wanted to sort of go over in this video hopefully you guys have enjoyed the series hopefully you guys have created some really awesome games um feel free to sort of send links down in the description below showing us what you've created if you have any questions or you want to learn how to create something new just let me know and i'll get to it but anyway thanks for watching make sure you share the video smack that like button and i will see you next time goodbye